In the summer of 2018, we set sail from the port of Vigo to carry out an oceanographic campaign in the Rias Baixas, a series of coastal inlets in the northwest coast of the Iberian Peninsula. Every half an hour and for 15 consecutive days, we measured the intensity of ocean turbulence and mixing off the shores of Buell. Every night, from dusk to dawn, our measurements revealed the occurrence of exceptionally strong turbulence. What was going on? We know that turbulence plays a key role in shaping the marine environment, since turbulent eddying motions result in mixing between warm surface waters and cool deep waters, driving a heat exchange that contributes to spin up the large-scale ocean circulation. Turbulence is also essential for marine life to flourish, since it brings nutrients stored in the dark waters of the deep ocean towards the surface, where they can be utilised by phytoplankton. Yum. But what if marine animals, while swimming, were capable of producing turbulence and mixing across the different ocean layers, thus helping to drive large-scale currents and fuel marine ecosystems? Marine scientists have been chasing after evidence of this phenomenon, named bioturbulence, for decades. However, observing bioturbulence proved to be extremely challenging. Firstly, because it is technically difficult to measure turbulence in the ocean, since it involves the observation of water movements at very small scales of a few centimetres, and secondly, because one has to be lucky enough to encounter an aggregation of fish or krill that stays close to the ship for long enough, for a meaningful dataset to be gathered. A big challenge. Thus far, few researchers have been able to demonstrate that fish can generate sizable ocean turbulence. And those that had succeeded at doing so suggested that bioturbulence produces very little mixing. They argued that the inefficiency of bioturbulence at mixing the ocean was due to the fish-generated whirls being overly small, a few centimetres, compared to the vertical scale over which changes in water properties occur in the ocean, several tens of metres. Thus, bioturbulence would be like trying to make mayonnaise by making tiny circles with a needle. In that way, the idea of fish driving ocean mixing was about to be forgotten until the acoustic sounders of the Ramon Margalef revealed that the intense nighttime turbulence was coincident with a strong acoustic signal indicating the presence of fish aggregations. We then deployed small fishing nets, and these came up full of tiny anchovy eggs. We concluded that the anchovies gathered every night in this coastal area to hatch and fertilize their eggs. In their nightly frenzy, anchovies generated the strong turbulence that we measured. Mystery solved! But were the whirling motions created by the lively anchovies capable of mixing together the different water layers? Our measurements show that this was indeed the case, confirming that biological mixing was occurring beneath our feet. What is special about the Rias Baixas that allows biological mixing to occur there? The ocean circulation in this region is shaped by a process termed upwelling, whereby northerly winds bring cool, deep waters close to the surface. These water movements result in very sharp vertical variations in ocean properties, such as temperature. In that way, the relatively small eddies created by the fish are able to mix together waters of very different temperatures and bring up nutrients towards the surface.